My name's Connor, and welcome to the Year of Shame Challenge 3, Episode 3. And joining me tonight on the Irishame Challenge 3, we have with us uh, Colin. How is it going? Uh, Stuart. All right. And Matt. Hello. How's everyone? You all all right? Hi. Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. All me back. <laughs> no major tragedies <laughs> befallen any of us before we started recording? Yeah, my dongle. <laughs> and, uh, what's happened to your dongle, Colin? It bent. You've got a bent. It bent. <laughs> bent. No, it is bent. It bent. Okay. <laughs> You've got a bent dongle. How did you bend your dongle? Yeah. I put it under the stairs and uh, uh, best place uh, for Neil it. Fisk uh, Hoover uh. Uh, bent it. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Okay. Um, anyone else had any tragedies before we started recording? I managed to have broken my chair, so I'm now recording sat on a swivel stool uh and said incident also broke one of my skylanders which is just i, I think i think just, you should explain oh. which Stella, a skylander so that um the listener can go into mourning for a minute's silence yeah hex now has a broken right arm uh she's dropped her crystal skull so i've put a black tie on for the occasion um and hopefully i can get through the next couple of hours without any more deaths or injuries we, we're not guaranteeing that at the beginning of this podcast. Anything could happen, and possibly will, by the end of it. Right, so I suppose after the introduction, we should probably move on to what we've been playing. Um, and it looks like I'm up first. Uh, so, first thing I had a crack at was Hustle Kings, which I mentioned last month was a, a freemium game on uh, PS4. So I had a bit of a play on that. Yes, it's a freemium game. Yes, it reminds me of Team 17 Pool. It looks quite nice. It's all right. I prefer pure pool, if I'm honest. Um, I've played more Assassin's Creed Unity than I probably should have. I'm up to the final mission now, um, which suddenly gave me a massive jump in difficulty, and I went, oh, God, and have given up. Not because I'm not able to do it, but I really have to backtrack because of the way that it works with it now. You have to have a certain level of armor and equipment before you can actually easily achieve a, a specific mission. So I've kind of gone, well, I'll wait and I'll go off and do some co-op with people. Um, I also mentioned last month I'd got a code for Flame Over, and I've been completely addicted to it on the Vita. Uh, it's a top-down firefighting sim, um, which is looks a bit like Fireman Sam, um, and plays quite well. It's quite addictive. It's all randomly generated levels, um, using the mixture of extinguisher or hose to out different fires, and you've got to kind of bomb through the level and rescue people out. It's quite playable. Um, I've put way 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 too many hours into it trying to to get through it it took me probably about 18 hours just to be able to get to the final mission to to ding that trophy off um additional to that i've been playing counter spy on the vita and also on the ps4 and i really really like that i've managed to complete through the story on that um, and saved the well from the destruction of the moon uh, which is quite good. It's a weird kind of sass scrolling shooter that kind of dips in and out of like 3D when you hide behind objects. It's quite a clever idea of a, a stealth em up. I think it reminds me of Impossible Mission, but I don't know whether that's the game I'm thinking of. Um, but it's, it's really, really good. I've, I've really enjoyed that. Uh, I also have been playing Yorby Episode 1, which I streamed. Um, I don't, it's a Ratchet and Clank clone, um, but it's not a clone of one of the better Ratchet and Clank games. It's a clone of the uh, Offer One, which was the four-player co-op, but it doesn't have anywhere near the level of humour or the graphical fidelity. Um, it was the version I played was pre-patch and it was buggy. Uh, I managed to break the game a couple of times, which was not fun. Played through, finished the story. Uh, dinged off quite a few trophies. I'm writing a review for Jack and me, so I'm not going to kind of go on about that too much. 
The last game I played and I binged it over the last couple of days has been The Walking Dead Season 2. Um, and I can't really talk about that because it would be spoilerific for anyone who hasn't played it. Uh, I didn't feel as done in as I did when I finished uh, Season 1. Uh, after I'd finished Season 1, I just deleted my my game straight off. I thought, I don't want to play that again. That was enough for me. Um, but that didn't stop me buying series two when it was Season 2 when it was cheap. Uh, so I've played through that on PS3, finished that this afternoon. Um, interesting, but I think I'll come to that in, in thoughts and feelings. Um, and that's me done for, for this month of March. Um, Colm, what have you been playing? Uh, I just want to make a note. You've been playing a fireman <laughs> sim that looks like fireman Sam. And yes, you have the audacity to <laughs> slag me about my amiibos. <clears throat> now, let's Time move stamp, on. people. Five minutes in and they're already coming out. It's a crutch. It's a crutch. Five minutes. And it wasn't even me that brought it up. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, it was getting in there before you. Okay, well, I've I've, been, I've had a good week, a good month, should I say. I've completed Rayman Origins. I have finished Wolfenstein, excellent game. Love it. Uh, I'm still playing Far Cry 4, which, you know, it's saddest to admit, but I've 35 hours in, and I've still got another six main missions to complete. And it's just annoying the crap out of me. For some reason, I can't stop playing it, but I, I I'm torturing myself mentally by playing it uh, i'm also playing ocarina of time on the 3ds because you know it's me and it's that's all i'm saying it's better than animal crossing i suppose <laughs> maybe, maybe <I> don't know. <laughs> and i'm also playing the joy that is hotline miami one can I just ask, isn't Hotline Miami a bit adult for your tastes? It is, but I the music is just fabulous. I love the music. It's all the masks. It makes them clunk in the end. No, he made the blood green, so it was fine. Yeah, yeah. I made the blood green. He likes going to the That's his favourite. You know I mean? it's, very, it's very pixelated blood, so it doesn't matter. And yes, that's it. And, and I'm playing a bit of Rayman Legends as well. With my turnips. <laughs> And uh, yeah, that's me, short and sweet, as usual. Back to you, Connor. Uh, Stuart, what have you been playing? Yeah, so I've been playing the games. I I say that every um, So yeah, I played um, because it became free with gold. Um, I've had the Rayman Legends for Christ as long as the day is. So I went back and it seems people got it and I did a few bits and pieces of that and I totally maxed it out. Basically, I'm only missing two achievements on it now. I'll grind away to get them, but fundamentally I've completed every piece of content in that game it just it's just what's left it's just reproduction or basically just keep trying challenges every every day with challenge and you keep me going for so it's kind of like can't be bored so but I'll, I might get there I might know um had a stab at the GTA house with a few of my mates uh was all right when it worked but it has been working so thank god for that a rare treat a was it worth the wait? Um, not really, because when there's three of you and you're like, yeah, let's go do heist, yeah, yeah. And you walk in and it's like the first heist, a two-man heist. You're kind of like, yeah, I'm afraid <laughs> you're um, buying out the windy. Yeah, that was um, a bit of an emotional moment, was when the three of you standing there and you realise it's only a two-man heist, the very first heist. It was kind of like, oh. But yeah, it's it's it was okay. It, it, it was fun. Um, the fact your character doesn't talk is quite problematic, I feel, because they're quite monologue they build up to the mission like one character will just sit and talk because your character doesn't interact realistically with talking it's a bit it doesn't feel it, it, it feels jarring but yeah it was fun I enjoyed it, it more to come I would say um, the second taste better be fucking free at four man and else I will rage um, after a public vote put it to the public vote yes you find people you yes the gaming public um, I put up four games for the vote and they basically said unanimously to play either Wolf Amongst Us or Project Project? No, Metro Last Light because I think it, there was one vote between them so I went fuck it I'll debate them so um, the Wolf Amongst Us I'm on ch- second episode and I'm enjoying it so far I really like it it's pretty good um, as for Metro I haven't started it yet but I will start it once Wolf Amongst Us is done and out of the way um Moving on, swiftly. Um, 
I was, I needed a shooter as I spoke about last month. I really needed a shooter. I needed something to entertain me. So against my better judgment, I went back to the bastard child that is Battlefield Four. Um, I've I've never ever got on with Battlefield Four just because it betrayed me so badly. Um, it took me out into the dark, put a bullet and put a gun at the back of my head and said, "I you bang," and didn't even have the decency to bury me. It was so crushing, but. I didn't have the thousand G in it, and my mates were well. My mate Andy was playing because nobody really plays Battlefield. I know, other than me and Andy. Um, and it was, I was in the mood for something shootery, so I got my thousand G or my core thousand G. So I said, so I completed the full original game, no DLC involved. Um, yeah, it, if it was like that when it launched, it would have been a different story. But because it was broke as hell when it took six months and it broke my hair, I just, <laughs> we'll never speak of it again, because the new and improved Battlefield Hardline's coming, yay! And I've been playing the 11 shit out of it since Tuesday, um, as it stands I'm rank 50, um, and I'm on episode 9 of 10 on the campaign, so I'm fundamentally campaigning that'll be finished with the weekend, and with it being a double XP celebrate all the weekend, I could maybe hit 100, nah, I don't know why, I'll probably hit the high 70s on the multiplayer, so that's, um, really enjoying that, it's brilliant, it's, it's, they've gave us back the battle full of love, because you buy it, you put it in, it works at the box, it is what it is, I enjoy it, it's why I like Battlefield, it's good soul, 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 good wholesome family fun as Battlefield, um, and the other game I was playing was Zombie Army Trilogy, which I know we're going to talk about later on, it's, um, God, yes. yeah, oh, you, yeah, hey, mate, trust me, trust me, don't worry, I'm covered, um, yeah, um, I know I spoke about it in the past, and it so happened that the opportunity arise to get a copy. Um, yeah, it's pretty much by the numbers, nighting, shooting Nazis. It uh, was it felt a hole that was needing filled basically. Um, I kind of went too long with shooting shit, and I kind of missed the whole shooting stuff. So being able to shoot Nazi zombies because the Third Reich are my favourite enemy. All the enemies ever existed ever in video games. The Third Reich are just I love shooting them. I just just something about them. Um, and the fact you get to blow Hitler's head coin off him as a zombie is phenomenal. So it only gets baited by the fact I've blew Charlie Brooker's testicles coin off him as well. And Sniper Elite V3, which was excellent in itself. But um, yeah, Zombie Armour Trilogy. Great fun. Kind of short and sweet, but great replay value. Again, need people to play it. If anybody out there's got it and they want a game, I'm more than happy to team up for it. Same goes for Battlefield. Um, I'm always up for squadding up and having a bit of fun in that, you know. So, yeah, that's what I've been playing this month. A fair gannet of games. Um, so, yeah. Thanks, Stu. Uh, Matt, what have you been playing? Uh, next to nothing this past month. Sadly. Hooray! <laughs> so, the quite opposite from everyone else, it sounds. Um, Hearthstone, as per usual. Um, now, my wonderful sister, some time ago, last year, I believe, bought me... Uh, for the PC Speedball 2 HD Remix or something it's called um, I have a long love of the Speedball franchise it was the original Speedball on the Amiga was the reason I got an Amiga adore that game, always have a Speedball 2 um, many people preferred it to the original Speedball uh, I prefer the original Speedball but uh, I thought how can how can they possibly get a classic conversion wrong on the PC and by God have they managed it that it just doesn't work. It's just awful in every front. And I persevered with it because it was a gift. Um, I think I've uploaded a screen. I'm, I'm winning games 500 nil. It's just embarrassingly... Now, I mean, I, I don't know if it's rose-tinted glasses looking back on the original Speedball, but I always remember nip and tuck battles, it taking a while. And this one, you once your team are of a reasonable ability, you just steamroll the opposition. They've added in some new teams, um, but you only play them once or twice a season by about season eight when you start coming across them. And then at the, your 10th season, game over, done. That's that. Um, they've used, they've tried to update the graphics, but then still use the original animations. So it, it just looks ropey. It, it's, you know, it's one of those games that I think they should have just, if, if I wanted to play that, I'd have just emulated it. There was no need for this remake and it's just bad and worse than the original. So, like I say, I, I 
pumped about 10, 15 hours into that, which is about 15 hours more than that version, you know, should have should have been given. But um, it was a present, so I, I got my money's worth. Um, but yeah, that's all I managed to play this month. So no Macklin 3 then? No, 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 none of that. That's coming. I'll talk about that <laughs> later. That is coming, so... Thanks, Matt. I suppose we should move on to what we've all picked up. Um, I think we'll start with Stuart. Yeah, um, yeah. so with the pick-up, uh, start of the month, I got the delightful... What's the start of the month? Probably two weeks in the month, but whatever. Picked up Halo Nightfall. Blu-ray. Woohoo. It's a film, so you can watch films all I want. Um, I never actually watched it on the Xbox, because I like Forward on the Dawn. I just didn't have... <laughs> I, just, I don't know, I just can't watch... Episodic stuff like that. I, I like to sit down and watch it in a big, decent chunk. So um, I picked up that Blu-ray. Um, I think it was a tenner, which is pretty good um, for a brand new Blu-ray, if I'm honest. Um, Can I ask is it the one that um, uh, Microsoft funded? Is the series that they did for the TV thing, or is this something different? It's kind of this because it's. Oh, it started life off only available on the Xbox, and then they've brought it to. DVD and stuff. It's a bit like Forward Unto Dawn, which was the first series they made. So they're, they're two different stories. Forward Unto Dawn follows uh, a group of recruits and the events that happen at the academy where they're training. And Nightfall follows an Oni squad um, going to investigate something that's basically... The, the elites got a new parasitical dust that basically can only kill kills humans but it doesn't kill all other species. It's quite interesting but Fundamentally, Nightfall set within the Halo Five universe, if that makes sense, because the character and the, the main character called Locke is going to be a major part in Halo Five. So it's kind of an introduction to him and kind of what he's like as a person and character and stuff. And that it's, it's all right. It's no bad. We 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 push forward piece. Um, Can he complain about it? Uh, it was fun. Good watch. Hour and a half long. CGI is a bit yeah at times, but. It needs a budget, and I think there'll come a time when they spend a budget on it, so all's good. I take it none of you give a flying fuck about it. I don't. No. I take the silence. I take the silence as the answer. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> um, the other thing, that, again, as I mentioned before, the other thing that came uh, was the glorious pre order forever and a fucking day battlefield hard lines. Um, it was a glorious day when it came sat on my doorstep yay so yeah six seven months eight months maybe probably eight months actually awaiting all over for a short time release so it was good so that was that and now we're on to the thing the crutch of the argument so does does any of you want to set this scene up or will I set the scene up or no I I want you to explain to the I want you to explain to the listeners both of them Right. Um, the exact situation that how you come to purchase or own, should I say, Army uh, Zombie Trilogy, and then uh, I'll, I'll okay. put my my feelings across on this horrible situation. Okay. A horrible and situation. Battlefield Hardlines. <laughs> Battlefield, Battlefield Hardlines I pre-ordered six, eight months ago. It was due in September last year. As a Battlefield fan, I went, I'll pre-order that, and it sat there, and they went, oh, by the way, we're not bringing it out in September. We'll bring it out in, I think it slipped to January, and then it slid for January to March. So, yeah. Uh, Battlefield Hardlines was coming forever. <laughs> well, I can't help it. <laughs> Oh, I have a no short term memory span, I told you. It's it's no my fault you don't you don't have foresight to pre order. I don't know if it's a thing you do or no, but when you pre order I did, I it, did, I ordered I pre ordered well, and I down ladies, because down. code gets slipped as well and I went, Well yeah, you go you I, I know, I, I can't help it, I can't go remember what page. I did yesterday. Back. Get back oh. Get back okay. down the stair with your dongle. Get okay. get in there. Get in. Okay. I'll right. go now. <laughs> You hide in your mug. Anyway, right, back to the scene. Right, it was a crisp Saturday morning. I remember it well. <laughs> Frost was just lying on the ground. And uh, as is traditional on a Saturday day, uh, me and my girlfriend had arranged to go out a joint for that afternoon. That afternoon, the location we chose to go our joint was Brayhead Shopping Centre, which is 
just down the Clyde from the centre of Glasgow. On returning to the car park and parking your vehicle, we left the car and walked at a reasonable brisk pace, as the air was cold and chilled at the time, um, into the centre, where uh, there are many, many fine uh, retail shops at Marks and Spencers and stuff like that, you know, stuff of excitement. Um, And there's also a game. So, as we walk along... Pick a tune, I don't know, any song you fancy, you know what I mean, that was playing in the background. Do, 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 do. Um, we walked by a game, and game happened to What us. a day for a daydream, that's mine. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> As we walk by a game, there's a massive picture of a bastard in Nazi zombie there. And my girlfriend turns to me and goes, I sure you really want that game, don't you? And I'm like, oh, aye, but I'm on the challenge, hen. I can't, I can't do it, hen. Can he? Because they'll, 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 they'll bitch and moan like a bunch of whining old women, fish women. I'm and having I a feeling this, this part us. of the story may be completely made up. But go on. Excuse me? Excuse me? <laughs> so, what happened was, she went into the shop and picked it up and said, do you want it? And I went, I can't do it. I said, I can't do it. I said, tell you what, tell you what, I'll send a tweet to the three of them and we'll get the council in on it. Because if the council know about it, at the, the initial point a inception then it's all above board what, guys 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 what, I've been asked I've been asked to be gifted this what's your views what proceeded over at that point we decided to go for something to eat and we went for a burger it was a very good burger I had a pepper burger at the time it was very nice um, I had Cajun onion rings as well <laughs> so very good as well so while we were having our meal while we were having our meal we all proceeded to have a conversation amongst ourselves it was at which point my girlfriend actually chimed in and told all you to sit down and shut up because <laughs> is she will not be pushed in a corner and the fact it's her money and fair dues to her and aye, if you want to piss her off you better run at Eurogamer lads, I'm telling you. Um, oh, I didn't to, piss her um, off. Aye, 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 I didn't, didn't, I didn't you backpedal. There's no pedal in here. I'm just selling it as it is. So after <laughs> asking the council is it okay if she gifts me this? And there was a bit of humming and hawing and moaning and kind of general disagreeance at the fact that you all picked unwinning ducks in the race that wouldn't buy you games or gift you games, I don't <laughs> buy. My girlfriend was charming enough to buy me the game. And I'm going to myself, why do I feel guilt here? Because she's bought it on her own money. Uh, yeah, it's not a day with me because she knows my love of killing the third Reich. That was the kind of thing, you know what I mean? Because she saw my wee face, my wee face had the light going, oh, there's a Nazi zombie, I want to kill the bastard. And she was like... I'm not sure, I'm not sure it was a face of delight. I'm expecting it's more like, you know, that little cartoon cat that's kind of got really big eyes and little teeth <laughs> and you know, its cheek. Oh, no, I think that's no. more like what it was. No, 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 no. And the other thing is, to be honest, to be honest, she does did buy me. In the history I've been with her, I've been with her coming on four years, four glorious, glorious years. That's longer than Cameron's been in office. Um, is that for you or her? Oh, for both, for both. Um, All right, okay, great. I think she's only ever, as gifts, as non-birthday, Christmas, blah, 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 gifts, I think she's only ever bought me three, four, four, four games in those four years we've been together. So it's not like it's an everyday occurrence. So you occurrence, would, you would you count this I mean? as being an out-of-the-ordinary occurrence. Doesn't that maybe ring alarm bells with other people in this group? That this is, this isn't a stand practice. As I said, and the thing is, but the thing is, I did say, and the thing was, we did have the Twitter conversation, and the thing is, she did get involved. Now, it would have been different if she hadn't get involved, and she didn't come out swinging the way she came out swinging, which I'm very proud of her, to, if I'm honest, because she did not take any bullshit, and good on her. But at the same time, I'm kind of like, guys... We don't have any bullshit one. in this podcast, excuse me. I'm, it's I'm all like, good, clean, genuine and I was saying, phone. And I, yeah, that's it. And I was like, look, guys, I'm above board here. She's asked me for the game. I'm just saying to you, look, I've been asked at this point, we're waiting for something to eat, we'll talk about it, you know what I mean, we'll sit down and talk about it, and, you know what I mean, and to put it in context, if I was really, really wanting a game that day, Evolve was only £30 special, 30 quid for Evolve, and we spoke last month about how I quite kind of fancied Evolve, because all the boys have got Evolve in that, but I said, no, I don't want Evolve, uh, well, I didn't say I don't want Evolve, but I did, you know what I mean, I could have said, oh, by the way, instead of getting me that, can, can you get me Evolve instead, but no, it was the game she saw and she chose for me that I took, you know? That's the crutch of the argument. It wasn't a personal choice, i.e. I didn't go, Oh what that one It was a case of she was like, Oh, you 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 can have, you would you would like that and I'll I'll I'll, I'll surprise you with it and I was like, Oh, what a surprise And now I'm getting fucking dragged out into the dirt like the dog I am and kicked. What is that all about, gents? What's right. that about? I'm gonna say this. When I go shopping <laughs> and Cole will back me up on this and Connor being a new father you'll have it all to come 
when I go shopping in yes. typical man way, if it's to go a yeah. pair, get a pair of shoes, I'll go into town, shoe shop, home. Done. Shopping is a job. I'm not there to browse. Now, one of my kids will normally chirp up and say, can I come, Dad? And I'll say, Ugh. Now, I don't want my kids to come shopping with me because they're little bastards. <laughs> Dad, Daddy doesn't mean it. Daddy doesn't mean it. I will tell you. I will tell you why. So they will, because you know they're puppy dog eyes or however you want to phrase it. I will take one of them shopping with me on all the car journey. They'll be. I'm just going to get some shoes. Nothing else. We're not stopping anywhere. Just some shoes. So we'll go and get the shoes, and they will be good as gold. <laughs> and then we'll walk past sweet shop, let's say, or bookshop, or comic shop, or a branch of game, for example, and they go. Dad, Dad, can can we just go in here? And you think to yourself, well, you have been good. You've been well behaved and you've followed me around and you've stood in the shoe shop and you haven't moaned. Of course, we, we were just going in to look. That's all. And they'll pick up the game and they'll look at it and they'll look at the front cover and they'll look at the back cover and they'll put it back on the shelf and then they'll pick it back up and have another look. And then they'll look at me and say, Dad, Dad, can... Could I have this? And you think, yeah, you've been good. You've come out. You haven't got burger all down your front. You can have a copy of the game. Now, I don't know if that's ringing any bells with you, Stuart, but I think <laughs> I'm, I'm afraid not. What party? <laughs> I was going to say, at what point did, I, did, did we say, uh, was the fucking poster in the window that did it? We were never across the threshold. We didn't even get in the shop. It was the poster that triggered it in her to say, that's something you really like, innit? And I was like, I can't do it. I dug my heels and she went, stop being a pussy and bloody just let me buy you the present. I'm like, but no, because the other middle-aged men are going to get pissy at me. And I can't have the middle-aged men getting pissy at me. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Can I ask, how long had you been seeding the thought of that game in her head? Um, be honest, I'll be honest, I'll be totally honest, it only came up once. It came up once when I asked, what would you like for your Valentine's Day? And I said, and this is the only time I've ever spoke to her, because I wouldn't speak to her about it, because it's such a niche thing. Like, I'll talk to her about certain things, but she's got zero time, realistically, when I start talking about the game. She'll listen to me about f- four nanoseconds. Um... <laughs> Which is expected, and that's the whole part of the, the job. But the thing was, it, when I was asked, what would you like for your Valentine's Day? I said it would either be that or Borderlands collection. And I was like, oh, well, the Borderlands collection is the smart man's move. Although my heart says zombie army, because obviously I like shooting fucking Nazis. But it was the smart man's move. I said, I'll go with Borderlands, you know what I mean? And that's what she picked for me for Borderlands, you know what I mean? Which I should really check if she got it delivered. Because it would get always today. But anyway, um, I was just ask, isn't that one that you were uh, supposed to have got this month? Yeah, well, it was released of this day, so she'll have it technically, or tomorrow. But she's not got back to me yet, so I've not asked her. But I want you to send her a message. Can I just but, ask um, a quick question then about the situation, just just to okay. put my mind at rest. You mentioned you okay. looked at the poster, yeah, and then you thought... No, well, she I looked at the poster. Oh, I didn't. Poster, I was too right. busy. Excuse me. Excuse me. I think you'll find the poster, the shop where games located is right next to where the burger places are. And okay. the fact is there's a five guys. There is a five guys. Not a one guy. Not a two guy. Not a four guy or a six guy. But a five guys opening in Brayhead. And it was that that had my attention at that point was, oh, is the five guys open as I waddled along to <laughs> what a day to be a daydreamer. You know what I mean? That was... That was that was what was on my mind because I like you know what I mean you know what I mean that's what it's about is we're getting fed. Okay, so you know? hold after you looked at the after you pointed out the poster, you went for for lunch. Did they point the poster place, out? Yeah, <laughs> you went for lunch. Yeah, to yes. talk it over. Who paid? I paid for lunch, by the way. The Just prosecution paid rests. for lunch. <laughs> right. So you bought lunch. To yep. talk it as over. always, mm. I, I, not as always. Sometimes it'll be better just in case you ever listen to this. <laughs> but <laughs> as I frequently do, as I frequently do by lunch, but not always. <laughs> no, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, you want to be very careful, there, mate. Trust me, they don't worry. See when she comes charm for you, charm at your door on Twitter. You fucking better answer, mate. You know what I mean? Because she'll, I'll know hold her back. If she wants to tear into you, she'll, she'll tear you apart. I'm, I'm all for watching that. I like to buy popcorn. You know what I mean? 
I've still taken it. I think we should move on, but I think we should leave it to the listeners to decide on that one. I'm sure maybe they'll have something to say next month about um, your excuses or reasonings um, for for why we should have archived the, the conversation. That was the whole thing. Was the conversation should have been archived on Twitter, and I could put it. It's archived on Twitter. As a listenership that that was. Well, if you can find it, I don't. We talk a lot. Of shit. All I know is I was being nice to you, and I'm not in any trouble. So you know, I am not going to judge anybody for getting anything, as I will probably have to explain myself later on said, in the podcast. And as, I, as, and as I said on Twitter. And as I said on Twitter, if I was really being the dirty bastard and no playing and no playing the game, I could have had myself a review copy of Dragon Ball Z, the new game. I could have had a review copy right now of Dark Souls 2 HD, which isn't even released. I could have, you know what I mean? The piss is there to be took if, if I wasn't playing the game. But you will find I am playing the game. Oh, we so know you are. There you go. You know what I mean? Okay, so we'll move on to Matt. Uh, what have you picked up? Matt. Just, just before we go, Matt, the Judge Reiner, a game. <laughs> I'm going to find Judge Reiner on Twitter. Um, just picked up the, uh, well, my PSN Plus account has expired, but uh, it didn't expire before the latest bunch of Plus games came. So all of those, uh, the games with gold, which I owned already, so none of those were added to the collection. And the good old games website were giving away the Rise of the Triad uh, 2013 edition for free so grab that cool. that's been it uh, for me PlayStation Plus content so Oli Oli 2 Well to Hollywood which I mentioned last month that got review copy so I already earned that uh, Oddwell New and Tasty on PS4 which again I already earned but I'll get the PS Vita and PS3 versions because I bought it, didn't get it with PlayStation Plus. Valiant Hearts on PS4, which I don't earn, but I really, really want to play. Counter Spy, which I really enjoyed. Uh, that was quite nice. That's one I've really cracked into this month. Sherlock Holmes, Crime and Punishment. Um, Papa, Papa and You. Uh, I also got The Last of Us Remastered as a birthday gift. Um, I got a review copy of Yorby Episode 1. And I got something else. Um, I got an Assassin's Creed coat. Yeah. <laughs> a scarf and a French coat. Wear wearable DLC. <laughs> wearable DLC. I like that. I like that idea. It doesn't add anything to the game. But I am currently sat in my Assassin's Creed dressing gown uh, with my um, Connor replica moccasins um, and my Assassin's Creed wife fronts on. So I'm quite a, a fetching thing at the moment. Oh, ah, right. So that's why you that's why you like Assassin's Creed so much because there was a Connor in Assassin's Creed. <laughs> yeah, he was in the, he, he How was sad in the... are you, mate? I'm sad, but you're one. even I'm sadder. I'm playing him prior to the third one. Oh, you probably <laughs> never played one before that. You can that. check my trophies on uh, PSM profiles to prove that Colm's wrong on that. <laughs> I'm, I'm not angry, Connor. I'm just disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> He had he had slightly less personality than that saying something. And Colin, what did you pick up? Um, I picked up memory loss and um, t another ten years closer to my retirement age. Um, I got some gifts from the charity shop from my beloved partner. But what? What do you mean? Did you? Hey, oh, hold that boss. Did you know? Did you take? Did you do the doing? Blah 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 blah. All of three whoa, euros. Whoa. Excuse me. You don't have to. I don't give a shit if it's a fiver or a million I... pound. You still bloody getting your ass handed to you. I... I'm well used to being mocked. Judge, Judge Reiner. Where is Judge Reiner right now? <laughs> one at a time. One at a time. He's rubbing his sore back. <laughs> I wake up every morning and I just wait for someone to judge me. So I am well used to being judged, okay? And I probably deserve it with my amiibo. Uh, no, no, fixation. no, no. We want the amiibo story coming out here, man. Fucking, the, we'll get this by the way. But the amiibo story needs told in front of this jury. Okay. You know what I mean? Well, I'm telling you, mate. Okay. You're no way There's no ami I There's have no amiibo story this week, okay? <laughs> now. <laughs> <laughs> what? What were the gifts your lovely wife got you from the charity shop then? I can't remember. Oh, yeah. Tortured souls or suffered <laughs> souls or some... Soul sacrifice. I've been doing my investigational work. Soul <laughs> sacrifice on the Vita. Ah, you'll have a soul sacrifice after this, trust me. Yeah. <laughs> 
And I got um, another PS3 game, um, uh, the horror game that was out a while back. The very first one. Oh, I can't remember now. Condemned? No, the one before yeah. that was a Sony exclusive. Came out an episodic. Oh. You know that balls. one? Yeah, I know what you mean. No, not balls. I can't remember what it's called, but yeah, I know what you yeah. mean. Yeah, that one. I'll get the name and stick it in. And, uh, uh, I have something else to confess. Uh, uh, I also was uh, gifted a Skylanders. <laughs> yes! What? A yes. Skylanders what? figure? Yes. <laughs> People not listen to the podcast. That's not Skylanders what I heard. figures goes to bat. Well, to I... That's not what I heard out there. I didn't hear that. I heard someone else was gifted to you. I've got a broken one you can have, Com. Just Thanks. <laughs> uh, I got one of them. And then I have... Ben Cullen is still hasn't posted my amiibo yet. So. <laughs> Cause that's because he can't walk because I went around to see him. But anyway, story. <laughs> trust me. He has he has sent me a picture of the box and my address mm -hmm. written on it. So I'm assuming that it'll be on its way. Yeah, seems, soon. seems legit. Yeah, so seems acid, legit. Yeah. So acid is wrong. Is <laughs> so when I get it. <laughs> lads you'll be the first to know okay i won't do an unboxing or anything like that because i'm basically too ugly for youtube and um i'll just uh tweet it maybe you know or maybe i will do an unboxing who knows so that is um ah and you know games of gold next month is just going to be out it's fabulous next month fabulous did you hear sure it's all, it's all right it's not great excuse me to me it's fabulous okay it's all right What's, what's I the, have what's low the expectations. Name them, name them we'll see. Uh, Assassin's Creed Black Flag. I own it. I already got Black Flag. Well, Gold I don't. Judgment. I have it. Go Gears I of have. Judgment. Already got it. Keep going. I don't have it. I don't have that. Right, uh, well, Child of Light, which I have already played on the Wii U, which is absolutely fantastic game. Uh, it's probably one of their better Ubisoft evil people that they are. I'll probably have to blank this one out now, otherwise we get sued from Ubisoft and they'll be in trouble. And um, I wouldn't. We've given plenty of coverage on this show. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I would suggest you play Child of Light, Connor. It's a great game. I I want to. I'm waiting for it to come with PlayStation Plus, and I'm expecting it probably will within the next month or so. So I thought you got Child of Light. No, I ain't got Child of Light. You said something, Childs. You said something, Childs. On your thing, I thought you said Child of Light. Oh, for God's sake! Yeah, Child of Light Flop. is with the Xbox One. It's one of the games we yeah. go with Xbox One next month. It is. Can I ask, Colin? Yeah. Why have you picked up two games for systems that are living in your loft? I heard it is view as well. Well, I want to confess. I confess. I went up to the attic and brought them down. Did you know for doing these stairs? Did you carry them down just to show karma at work here? You know what I mean? It's like, ah, I put them up the loft and I cracked like a cheap. I don't know what I want to say, son, but I can't. Say it because, you know, we'll get a young master chef. <laughs> no, I went upstairs to get them because um, I was missing them. Oh, oh, I wish I'd saved that for missing stuff, which is a brilliant segue because that's our next section. Um... <laughs> You're so professional. <laughs> So that's me done. Right, so thank you. Shall I try and do that bit again as soon as I completely fucking it up? <laughs> right, so, so we'll move on to missing stuff. Matt, what have you been missing? Anything? Uh, yeah, okay, for, for once. I, I wobbled this month. I didn't buy anything, but I um, uh, my little lad is superhero crazy, and there was a uh, one of the many websites were offering Injustice for three quid, and I nearly got it, but I didn't. So I still quite like that game, and they've... Uh, they've announced a new Hearthstone expansion which is coming out in just a few days um, luckily it's payable with uh, in-game currency but it's going to take a shitload of it so uh, I'm going to have to play that game even more which is a tragedy but uh, just those things at the moment uh, thanks Stu what have you uh, been missing out and out yeah because you know I've been buying games I have fucked that I have you know what I mean she could walk any time if she walks there ain't no funds no more you know what I mean <laughs> just putting that out there you know what I mean I'm no holding her against her wall that's the whole point we're no married so she could walk at any time 
I'm just saying that it's FTC. I've been spending. How have I been spending? My bank balance is in the. Is it's in the, the red or the green. black? It's not the green. I mean, There's some wrong if he says that. Is he buys a ticket for Eurogamer? Anyway, games I've been missing. And by the way, if any of our listenership out there feel the need, feel the need to buy us anything, right? I want to put that in there, right? I personally would like a speedboat in Grimsby. <laughs> Ma, what do you want, mate? What do you want? We're taking orders. What do you want? I I just want it. No, 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 no. You're not allowed this one. You should do it. You've had yours. Ma, what do you want? You know what I mean? Go play at Blender. Uh, a chair and a new hex. Please. Okay, right. That's a new hex for him. Connor, what do you want? Just just name it, mate. Just oh, name it. Oh, anything. Oh, I don't know. No, I don't um, know anything. It needs to be something. <laughs> um. Oh, God, I don't know. I'm, I'm quite happy with everything. Pick something. Moment. Anything. A light bulb. <laughs> a light bulb. 20 watt light bulb. <laughs> there you go, listenership. That's your challenge. Speed bulb. Oh, what about me? <laughs> you said, Dune, you did your plea bargain last week. <laughs> Please send me an amiibo. I want an amiibo because I need an amiibo. <laughs> Why, oh, why did I not get an amiibo? <laughs> this man needs an amiibo. If it was, it's like, it, imagine it. Imagine it being like, you ever seen that RSPC advert with the dogs tied in the walk and the water's rising? It's just like Connor just sitting there. Uh, no, Connor, sorry. Uh, <laughs> call him. Call him. Yeah. I'm just going to say Connor again. I'm getting that in the head now because of the Assassin's Creed jokes. But um, call him sitting there tied to a walk. The water rises. He's going. My amiibo, where is he? Oh, he? <laughs> and then they're like, for just three pounds a month, you could send an amiibo to this man. Just three pounds. Oh. You could give this man enough amiibos to feed his family for six months. You know what I mean? Water isn't a given right, but amiibos are. <laughs> so, that's your pledge. You're a shame pledge. Speedboat in Grimsby, a new chair and a hex, a 20 watt light bulb for three pounds a month. You could make this happen. Sorry. Thank you. Anyway, back to what I've missed. I just wanted to get that out there, guys, because, uh, you know what I mean? I felt I wasn't getting my generosity side felt. Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Games okay. I've missed this month. Uh, White Knight. Um, I really want that game. Really bad. It looks amazing. It's a, LA, it's a noir set in a blank white world that's very much like Resident Evil. You're a detective and you go through the world seeing ghosts and stuff and that and it's all about light so if you use use matches to gauge your light and stuff and that very very nice looking um, I want it full stop Sunset Overdrive DLC that I really want as well I know I spoke in the first episode I was maybe going to buy the season pass but I've kind of been that idea so um, yeah I'm kind of missing that just now Aura in the Forgotten or the Forgotten Forest, not in the Blind Forest actually. It looks really nice and it's an exclusive to the Xbox and it's kinda of one of the games you need to own if you've got an Xbox One. But as we are on this challenge, I shall not own it until it drops in price a year later to like four pound. Because I got a feeling it's gonna be one of the games that it'll do the rounds for a bit and then it'll, you'll get it for buttons. Like Wimbo was like two pound I think or something on live after like the first year and stuff, so it's definitely going to drop it's just a matter of when um, and the last game it's all DLC it's all arcade games or indie games I want LA Cops looks brilliant I've watched a few people play it on Twitch and I kind of or uh, ID Xbox games should I say uh, LA Cops looks great it's about cops in LA and it's kind of like an isometric shooter looks fun so sadly I won't be getting that either over to yous just you um, Colin what have you missed out and out um, turnips I missed you guys. Oh, that's how I. I, uh, oh. I'm missing not finishing. I am feckin' fed up not finishing <laughs> Far Cry Four, and it's just doing my head in, and I just want to be over with. And you know, with. you know, Colin. Um, the way that it works is all the other stuff in Far Cry is optional. The missions you can actually just complete. You don't have to go. Oh, shit! Yeah. I'm gonna go over there. You can just do the missions. What's that? A honey badger? Do you know what really? Do you know what really freaks me out here? And this is just. This is just a word of warning for the future, lads. When you get to my age. There's so many shagging icons on the map, I can't see what the f- Somebody needs to go into an Assassin's Creed game then. You need to play an Assassin's Creed game then, and then complete yeah. the icon. Yeah, get when Black Flag drops just next month. I recommend playing it because it's a fantastic game. Um, Stu played it last month and seemed to really, really like it for someone who doesn't like Assassin's Creed games. It's alright, 
was all right. Um, right. I, I would I would highly recommend it, but I know what you mean about icons because Assassin's Creed Unity. The map is a mess with icons. You can filter them. They should have the option to be able to turn certain things off so you don't see them on the map. That might make yes, it a bit I easier. Do. I do have that option. Can we, you know, we secret as well about Far Cry? You don't actually have to do everything in the game. You can put it 100%. If you want to do everything, fair dues. But you, I think I got my 1000G and walked away. I think I was 78% complete. So... Yeah, well, I, uh, okay, I'm only 40% complete and I'm 35 hours in. Now, what the f*** is going on? You're just you're just stuck in a rut, aren't you? You're just stuck in a rut. You just don't want to yeah. leave up. Bro. You're just like, my, nah. <laughs> my son said he finished the game in 16 hours, but there you go. Uh, you can you can flatline it pretty quick. Uh, but, um, okay. Uh, it's, it's up to you, you know what I mean? But if you're getting Creed next month... It's all them hidden areas. I just... Uh, I have to find them. <laughs> I'm even sorry, it tells but I'm you, even though it myself. tells you where they are on the map, but you, you yeah, I, I still have to see what's in there. <laughs> I'll tell you what's in there: a wooden box, a wooden box with some old magazines, and a wooden box with some playing cards worth about twenty pound. That's what's in it. It's the same thing always in it. There's never anything exciting in these things. I know, but I like to know where to get there. It's the same thing. I know, I know. I'm tormenting myself. I'm going crazy now. I'm going. <laughs> see, see, if you had to get, if you had to go uh, an amiibo, I might have sent you my wee vast bobblehead. That's the awesomeness that is vast and I would just put them in front of you and let them nod away going aight aight <laughs> but you go an amiibo so I'm sorry but you can't eat. I'm sorry you can't you can't get them so, let's have a look at what you could have won <laughs> yep. okay well that's all I'm missing now at the moment since you've been gone away since you've been gone I know I was around when that song came out lads I am that old I, I, but I ain't missing you I know you're not, but I don't expect you to. I am number one. I am your number one fan on Twitter, and you are mine. That's all that matters. Okay? Get a room! Get a room. Fuck oh, off. <laughs> oh, this this is turned into a love-in. Now, now uh, my missing okay. stuff, getting back to the agenda, um, after this is turned to a homoerotic love fest. Um... Somebody's getting jabbed. It's like the volleyball scene in Top Gun. <laughs> Don't you dare mention Top Gun. Sit down. Sit down. <laughs> Fucking Top Gun's the best movie ever. And for the record, for the record, Tom Cruise follows me on Twitter. Get it right up, yous. <laughs> me and to- Tom Cruise is my friend on Twitter. He actually follows me. The Tom it's Cruise. his PA. Yeah. I, I wouldn't it's not be boasting him. about that. I don't know, still follows me. Does he follow you? <laughs> I told you, me and we Tam are like that. We are like that. It doesn't help me when I'm doing that with my horns and you just can't see me. But trust me, we're like that. Right. Okay. Well. Okay. Well, well, you and Tom are like that. That's okay. Good. We Tam. Call his name. We Tam. Tam. <laughs> we Tam. Are you following Tam Cruise? I think you're following the wrong person. I think the person who's following you back isn't Tom Cruise. I think, I think you'll find I don't follow Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise follows me. That's <laughs> <laughs> this argument. Some of you are too cool. Oh, brilliant. There's a gag there. There's an automatic gag. Stuart has a small Tom following. Excuse me? <laughs> Tom for Facebook follows me as well. All the Tams like me. Big Tams, wee Tams. What are you missing? <laughs> well, for me, time to play, considering I've been off two weeks during March. Um, I have... Is, it, is this the monthly weigh-in update? Just going uh, it, yeah, it is. Just just, just so we can get it in there now. Um... Get a jingle. <laughs> somebody, somebody find a jingle quick. It's it's as baby minute. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> I've been off, so I've been spending lots of time with the family, which has been really nice, because generally I spend time at work and come home and see the little, little one for maybe a couple of hours and then he's off to bed so I don't tend to, to get much time during the week so it's been really nice we've been f- off to the seaside and ah. off around the park and stuff so that's been good um, but it has really damaged my gaming time so just as a word of warning to anyone who's thinking of becoming a parent um, maybe reconsider <laughs> wrap it before you tap it um, 
Uh, so other than that I've been completely obsessed with Assassin's Creed Unity and spent many an hour playing through that and I've had the same issue that Columns had of of basically being obsessed with shiny icons on the map and making them disappear by completing them um, and Flame Over which has been quite nice to play in like little, little bursts. The biggest thing I'm miss missing is the announcement of Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain coming on the 1st of September and I kind of reached out on Twitter as to whether it would be okay for me to, to pre-order a game that comes out nine days before the end of my year of shame. Um, I think there was a unanimous no it's not alright so I haven't pre-ordered it and non no one I know of has pre-ordered for me uh, even if it does have a big metal snake arm statue with the collector edition <laughs> oh, so so yeah the thing that I want the thing that I want is you'll be waiting a long time that... okay I think you'll find if you were to walk by the shop <laughs> oh, yeah, on the day of release yeah, that's if you walk by the shop on the day of release and your other half feels the need to say yeah you know I like that <laughs> But there needs to be declarance before the, the purchasing. It needs to be brought before the court. Uh, and Judge Reiner needs to be able to say <laughs> something that nobody will listen to. And then we need to see if it is within the rules or not within the rules. That is the question. The other thing, the other thing I've been missing is, because I keep watching trailers for, and gameplay of the new Batman game, and I watch PS4 trailer for it, and I know when that comes out that's actually going to really really hurt i'm amazingly bothered by um a batmobile collector edition or anything but i did really like the first two Batman games so no i'm not not interested in that but that game's going to be be a tough one there's no no excuses in i think it's june when it's, it's due out it, by the way you'll possibly know that. apply you'll for know it, that. it being a gift so i don't think i'll get in that that'll have to wait until the end of my year of shame but with the hd fied ones as well, seeing as Arkham City and Arkham Asylum's getting hd fied as well. They are. Um, yeah, the whole so world's getting hd fied <laughs> Everything's getting an HD, I know. It's like, let's not make any new games. Let's just make yeah. all the old games look nice. Let's just fleece the fuckers. <laughs> Sorry. <That's laughs> games designers, easiest job in the world. Yeah. Apart from Nintendo. Nintendo will make original <laughs> games. Nintendo. Excuse me, excuse me. You buying an NX? You buying an NX? <laughs> I'm not buying know. anything. I so don't know what it NX. is. So, so when they release the fact that the NX is a mobile phone, you're not going to go, eh. I want a Nintendo phone. <laughs> no, I don't want a Nintendo phone. Think, I'll stick just to think my the Samsung. Dun, 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 You could answer I'm sure I could change it to Ocarina of Time. The ability... The ability to modify it into the console. Like Dutch the Mimi, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> so let's move on to thoughts and feelings, Colin. Obviously, your uh, feelings on, on not oh. banning an NX seem to be quite strong. So, uh, have you got any thoughts and feelings for this much, month, March? That's until they send him an email saying he's special. <laughs> You're special. <laughs> I have no feeling from the head down, okay? <laughs> that just comes with age. I can't feel anything, and you can hurt me all you want with your amiibo slaggings, but I shall not be dampened hey, by your hey, hey, hey. I've degrading got a torch, of my... Mate. I've got a blowtorch. <laughs> I, bet you, I bet you Link melts at 22 degrees Kelvin. I bet you I'll melt him. I bet you I can get him into a puddle in two minutes with no, mm. I've just, um, I, I'm just plodding through. I'm trying to get, looking forward to get to the next month, which will, if I make it to the end of May, April without Collie's Confessions, will be an all-time record for me. And, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting some congratulations off the listeners to say, well done, Carl, at least you made it to four months instead of two, like last year. <laughs> this is, perf that's pathetic. <laughs> He has nearly made it three months. I think there should be some kind of is like, you know, like sobriety. Is he a junkie or something? He's made it to four months clean. What is that? The fuck's that about? Yeah, I mean, we're here for a year. We're not here for. Well done, son. Well done. Go on your cell a week. Woohoo! So, what the fuck's this about, Excuse guys? Excuse me. As, as Nintendo have said, I am special, okay? <laughs> what can, that's all I'm saying there. I am special. Case. I just think that's framed. I think you framed that on your wall, haven't you? Just to remind you, just, your water is looking over you. Right, mate? Yeah. 
Okay, well, that's <laughs> that's my feelings on the subject. Thank you for asking. Steps away that's from the all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> so my my thoughts and feelings. Um, generally, March is is usually the beginning, end of February, beginning of March. I tend to get a bit down, um, a little bit depressed because I'm turning older um, and this this month was definitely the uh, same wait you get to 47 me you'd be too permanently depressed all the year round. i've got a decade away for that so that's fine um, <laughs> so <laughs> yeah so a little bit of pre best depression and a, a fair bit of uh, procrastination and not really kind of playing anything new up until i kind of had my time off and then i started cracking on with stuff um that's passed um obviously i bought a coat which i should just declare that it wasn't entirely from my own money um i basically asked people to to put towards my uh, assassin's creed coat fund um so other than getting the what fund fund a fund towards a fund so oh, no. you basically you basically had to beg for a the, French no, coat no, no, and a no, scarf. No, 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 unlike you, unlike you, he had a Kickstarter. <laughs> hey, I wish I had done a Kickstarter. <laughs> like, please, Monsieur, please uh, support my uh, French <laughs> coat, please. I want to wear the flag of my country so I can run away twice as fast when they come to fight me. Was the scarf a stretch goal? Oh, the scarf's amazing. The scarf's amazing. I know you like it and that, and I know it, I can see its design and stuff, but my God, it's just like... I thought you were going to turn into a wee Russian woman. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Just hobble about. It's like you're just disguising yourself to go on Google Maps. You know what I mean? Which I hear for you, but it's just a PR company. It's not actually Google Maps. <laughs> yeah, at the moment it seems to be. Um, <laughs> which is very odd. Um, so, yeah, I got, I got my coat. And that's been probably the most exciting part of my month. How many How many pockets does it have? Uh, four. Does it have poppers or zippers? Poppers and zipper. If you go, you can go watch my unboxing. Uh, if you're that yeah, desperate. I watched it for about forty settings. I was really hoping it to be sound good, and then when I saw it was that, I was kind of like, "Oh, why did you not buy the Counter Strike one?" But anyway. <laughs> hey, there's a discount on the Counter Strike one, so if anyone. What they like for size, but that's the thing because putting that kind of cash out for sons a bit. I don't mind taking a gamble with things with size. Kinda, you know what I mean? But putting that kind of cash out for something that's maybe going to be too small is a bit kind of like... Oh. They do do a returns policy, but it actually fit me perfectly. So uh, I'm not the skinniest of blokes. Um, I'm not the tallest of blokes either, but a large as... But you are quite, quite a quite French nice. man at heart. Um, not particularly. Yeah. And you've but got you, lots of hair. I've got a lot of but hair. You're so, now. Yeah. So, you look at it now. It's it. I I really like it. I'm really really impressed with it. Even the missus was quite surprised. She's like, Jesus, that's actually she was. really good quality. <laughs> How much? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Does that come with a flagpole, or do we need to buy the flagpole separate? <laughs> I bet you're having lots of fun in the bedroom with that baby, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, it's it's really strange. Fuck it. All of all our <laughs> role play seems to avoid me. If, in, uh, I'll try that again. All of our bedroom antics seem to involve me role playing as a French assassin. How strange! Funny, though. Well, there you go. Whatever you're into. Personally, I do the whole amiibo dressing up thing, you know, but that's just me. <laughs> so you keep clopping through the bed and the wall. It has been done. You keep my face to disappear. <laughs> just watching it every so often. You know? Yeah, that, that, and I'll really slow down if there's more than two people in the room at the same time. <laughs> yeah. Busy street you're done for. It's just like, oh, oh can I walk? It's a busy street. <laughs> <laughs> so what you're saying is that coat was your wife's pre-order bonus? <laughs> yeah, he's better oh, than a yeah. six and a half inch plastic statue <laughs> <laughs> and I'm also approaching my 6,000 trophies which um, means it'll have been I'll have gained a thousand trophies since I got my PS4 this time last year so I'm quite happy with that no one else is, no one else cares but I'm quite happy with that and that's me done, that's my thoughts and feelings and Matt, do you have any thoughts and feelings? Yeah, like Colm, I'm quite pleased. Three months in, not not spent a single penny on on games. Um, not got as many games in this month as I'd have liked, but hopefully work is going to ease off and I'll get a chance. So yeah, so far so good. 
Wow, excellent. So, Stu, you're the last one for thoughts and feelings. Um, how are you thinking and feeling? Ah, uh, like shooting stuff. Um, yeah, as I said last... So no change then? Yeah, well, I've not shot a lot of things since the challenge started, but I was yearning for a shooter, um, and now I have two shooters. Uh, three shooters, well, technically. Four shooters, maybe, if you count the collection, maybe. If I get it, if she's got it, we'll find it. Um, yeah, I really enjoy I really stink my teeth into hard lines big time um, finding myself playing it to your own time and I just can't wait till everybody else gets it or people get it that I know because I really am enjoying it and I'm enjoying just the kind of it's, it's a good change of pace for what's been to what is um, and this month I was wanting to be quite slow and stuff but now it's really picked up and I'm, I'm kind of happy with it so hard lines will keep me fueled hopefully now until the end of the end of the year um, on the online shooter side which is great um, and on the achievement side sort of thing since we're having updates on the pulse um i by the end of play tomorrow hopefully i'll be fifteen thousand achievements shy of my 200 000. so i'm seriously racing racing to that pivot point in my challenge so i'm probably going to pass it sooner than later i think um because i've just downloaded something we're going to talk about in listener mail i think so I um, know that's a guaranteed thousand G in what two two hours maybe, so, and then when you add in everyone else at card lines, I'm going to flat out as well and stuff. So definitely a, a lot of playing going on. So achievements, woo! Excellent. So we'll move on to listener mail. Thanks everyone who sent stuff in. Um, to the right email address. No, the no no column <laughs> email address. Let's just get this out here, right? Column sent out. <laughs> Two tweets on two different days with the wrong address. But it wasn't just the same wrong address, it was two different wrong addresses. So there's two <laughs> sets of your Western wheel that's gone into the ether of net. You know, it's like fantastic. Fantastic. <laughs> well, He's you... never tweeting again. <laughs> you had one well, job to do. <laughs> do you want to take the first yeah, one then from the Lee? Failure Howard? was. Are we still on the call? Okay, so. Are you muting yeah. yourself again, Yeah. Uh, yeah, I want, I want the second one. I, I, I bags. Okay. I bags the second one, right? Uh, <laughs> so, Matt, you'll take the third. What? Yeah. Oh, that's Adam. Oh, you're doing that. Oh, you, well, you did such a good job last month. So. Flat three will month. get you everywhere. Uh, yeah, I know. Flat, flat, if it gets me an amiibo, I'll do a double the flat. You just hold oh. yourself out for a piece of plastic. Hey, that's just red knees that gets you amiibos. That, that's just oh like yeah, I'd set myself for anything. <laughs> yes. I'll speak to you later, Cole. <laughs> we'll have a private chat. Yeah. <laughs> better get some, better get some knee pads in for their knees. <laughs> oh Jesus! Stop. Carpet okay, this is right, from bitch. this is from Lee Howard at Count Fosco. 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 <laughs> uh, Nothing substantial or of Sorry. note to say other than I wish you all the best of luck and keep up the good podcasting work. More handheld gaming chat is most welcome as is stuff from older hardware. Ah, uh, look at this. Nintendo Wii. Oh, he does mention PS3, <laughs> etc. Enjoy hearing about it all. The new and the old. I think he's talking about me there, is he? Last... Uh, no uh, Matt, can you get you. your can you get your thing off that thing? I can't last see it. Current, get your yeah. thing off the this the the I can't see the last bit. Last comb is it? Oh, Matt, yeah, last and uh, last and current <laughs> gen. Sorry, <laughs> I'll be editing that out. Don't do, do we need to make and, the font um, bigger for you? No, it's just that your <laughs> thing. You had it clicked on it, and I, all I could see You're was your name. Thing everywhere, I was putting, I it's always here and there. Your here. thing. It's everywhere. <laughs> Willie and that indeed, on. <laughs> Okay, so no, you had you had your mouse on the last bit, and I, all I could see was your name. Oh, you, that's why. You silver tongue. I'm not Charles. going mad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you, thank you, uh, Lee. That was uh, nice, and um, thank you. It's most most welcome. Yeah, it's good to yeah, have thanks for the support. Yeah, it's good to have some feedback. That's great. I'm sure we will be covering new and old over uh, the coming months. I I'll be doing some old stuff next month. Yes, older than normal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I tend to do some old stuff. So, so. Do, do you want to take the next one from uh, 
Yeah, I'm absolutely delighted by the next question because I didn't know that Paul Hollywood, the famous baker, was a, a fan of our show. But it turns out Paul Hollywood has tweeted us asking us, oh no, no, wait, wait, sorry, 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 sorry. It's Justin Smith, uh, oh, I save loaded, I thought it was Paul Hollywood for a minute there, I couldn't tell. Um, has tweeted asking, does Connor, with his new coat of French needs, feel the need to scale buildings and stab <laughs> random people like any night out in Glasgow? The Glasgow, <laughs> he's just adding it. But a good stabbing's all, it's always a party when there's a stabbing. And uh, <laughs> Paul also says, I mean, Justin also goes on to say that um, he'll be baking some more in the future, hopefully, and he's got a book coming out. So, um, well done, Paul. Well done. Well done yourself, son. Sorry, I hijacked that question. <laughs> He did answer. He did answer your bacon query on last save loaded very well. I know I he did. I know he would. I know he would. But no, Paul Hollywood's a fan. <sighs> <laughs> well, to, to answer just to answer Justin's question, um, Paul's question, Justin's question, um, Paul, <laughs> my my edge to. S- my edge to scale buildings and randomly stab people is no stronger than usual, uh, which means, yes, it's fairly constant. Um, I talked years ago to a friend about playing games and getting some kind of weird wanting to do strange things and, like, uh, play, like, Tony Hawk's years ago and seeing, like, things that you think, oh, yeah, be able to grind that. Neither of us could skateboard, but we would start seeing lines through stuff. And, yeah, I live in a city that's got some fairly historic buildings that I do regularly walk underneath you. Yeah, I really could climb all the way up that with no ability to climb and a really bad fear of heights. Uh, the stabbing people, no, not, not so much. Um, it's there's, there's certainly a few people I dislike, but not enough to stab them. So I hope that answers uh, Justin's question. Uh, Should we move on to Matt answering, asking the next one? Uh, this next email is from Adam Ducker. You may know him from such podcasts as Year of Shame, Year of Shame Challenge 2. And he writes, So firstly, I'd like to thank each and every one of you for both making and breaking Colm within the first two months. You drove him to you drove him to drink during episode one so much so that his dearest Sandra bought him the now infamous Nitro Bullet. Anyway, <laughs> into Harriet. New <laughs> tree. New tree. Oh, it's spelled right on this one. That's nice. Anyway, just wanted to make. <laughs> <laughs> Tax lads, you know, I had a hard upbringing. <laughs> anyway, just wanted to make a couple of comments. Connor and Stuart, good job so far. I also managed to complete my 4th of February beating D4. Great game, by the way, Colm, you're wrong. Rayman <laughs> Legends, Watch Dogs and Batman on the good old Mega Drive. As for the other two, Colm and Matt, get beating some new games. Colm, what the hell are you doing pissing about <laughs> with games you've already beaten? Don't even get me started on all those bells you're sinking into paying off the mortgage from a diddling raccoon. And Matt, stop... <laughs> Matt, you got your number. stop mucking about with MOBAs. You'll never beat them and just sink hundreds of hours and still suck at them. Yes, fair point. PM me later if you want to suck at Dota 2 together. <laughs> as, for my, as for a post-year of shame life, I'm still taking a different approach and I'm trying to only buy one game for every two games I've beaten. It's going kind of okay according to my backloggery.com account. I've beaten 23 games so far but acquired 19. Now I'm no maths genius but I don't see that as <laughs> buying one for every two completed. <laughs> These Canadians, I don't know. <laughs> That's the currency, it's the currency rate. It's exchange rate. Now these figures are slightly skewed because it includes five episodes of Life is Strange and four episodes of Resident Evil Revelations 2. However, I still feel by the end of the year I'll be up, so to speak. Good morning. Anyway, keep up the good work. Well, I say good work. <laughs> that doesn't apply to all of you, but keep up the entertainment. Speak to you soon. Cheers. P.S. I'm more than happy to come on and host an episode like our illustrious Year One's friends did for Year Two. So just let me know. Well, thank you, Adam. Apart from slagging me and Colm off, that was a lovely email. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Adam. Thanks, Adam. I'm glad I'm uh, impressing you. <laughs> <laughs> you might not might not say that after he said me hosting this month. <laughs> right, okay. Um, I'm taking the next one from Stuart Cullum, and I've managed to make it all go really big, and I can't read it. Um, right, give me a second. Hold on, if I do this, does it put you off? <laughs> <laughs> Stop it! 
<laughs> the things that are going through my head at the moment just not happy. I was putting me thing. Well, at least it's not Holland's dongle. This is going to be a year of shame porn challenge by the end of this year, man. You wish. <laughs> Talk <laughs> that, I know that. Talk that. <laughs> Right, so this next one's from Sean Cullen. Um, he says, Hi guys, I'm checking in to report my own Year of Shame, cha- Year of Shame Challenge is still going strong. Thanks to Dollar Day, I'm able to get the occasional sale game with plenty to spare. Currently, I have enough to get another year of PlayStation Plus. Now I have until the start of summer to wait for a possible discount or 13 month special. Um, as for thoughts and feelings, I would say that my choice to undergo these challenges for both 2014 and this year couldn't have been better timed. In terms of lack of games, I want I would want to buy. Uh, it's easy to abstain from buying games when there's nothing desirable coming out. The that outlook may change come June 14th. As for my gaming habits, I could have sworn I meant to finish more games by now. Ten weeks into my challenge, however, since completing uh, Bioshock on 360, it's been a case of get gaming to pass on steroids. Lately, I've been um, been like riding the night bus from the Harry Potter series to it. Grand Theft Auto 4 uh, on PS3, then bang, NCAA Football 14, and then bang, Tomb Raider, then bang, Bang, back to the PS3 for a new game, Mass Effect, then bang, dusting off uh, all pro football 2K8, and so forth and so forth. Uh, With this much gaming ADD, it's wonder I made it through school. Uh, Loved the last show and looking forward to even more Tales of the Three Amoebas. (laughs) Sincerely, Sean Cullum. Um, P.S. Or are there only two? I forget not being a Nintendo guy. There's only two at the moment. So, you see that. <laughs> at the moment, there is, there is one on the way. There is one on the way. Yeah. Thanks, Sean, for that. I'm glad to hear someone else is, is joining us with the pain. Yeah. Sean. Who wants... To, oh, can I take Kev? Yeah, of course you can. Uh, can, you, can you read his email first? Yeah. <laughs> It's zoomed up to 150%. Okay. <laughs> Is it a month since the last show? Yeah, time flies. Will you stop putting your thing down there, Matt? <laughs> Great to see I'm where it's going start again, to be again, getting. Again. Another... <laughs> Sorry. Kevin Atkinson, uh, Drunken Rogue, 68. Is it a month since the last show? See how good I can speak now. Great to see we're great to see we're going to be getting another <laughs> show is he being sarcastic there i think he is i have a couple of questions for you guys first why the hell are you recording on such a wonderful day you should be all sat in a beer garden watching the england match maybe not column though as i'm sure i'm assuming he's still not drinking my second question who is picking up fast and furious or for forza horizon 2 as it's free i'm going to guess you're all okay <laughs> to get it yeah we am but well, I couldn't be arsed. Anyway, enough of, the, enough of my shit. Have a great night, and I'll quietly sit and wait for the show to be released and hopefully see you all at EGX later this year. Thanks, Kevin. Kevin Atkinson, Drunken Rogue. Thank you, Kevin. <laughs> and it's nice to know you have such a high opinion of me, too. Uh, like the rest of the listeners. And you know, that, that, that's it. Uh, there's one more for Justin Knowles. Who wants to We're take not going to answer those questions. All right, fine then. Just oh, yeah, send sorry. in your mail. We ain't going to oh, talk sorry. about it. <laughs> I have a couple of questions for you guys. What the hell are you doing recording on such a wonderful ah, we know, day? We don't give a fuck about England, mate. We really don't. <laughs> I don't know why. I really don't know why you said calm. I don't call him Irish. But what the You'd be really a if you were all in Scotland. You know the problem with England? It's the truth. The problem with England is it's full of English. Anyway. <laughs> So okay. that's why I voted yes. Right so there, that's your answer. Why did please, you vote yes? Right there. <laughs> can we just, can we just uh, please uh, let the listeners know that we have covered the four corners of the British Empire. <coughs> uh, we've got a Republican, that's me. We've got a Welsh man, that's Matt. And we've got sorry, a... Sorry, what? Scott... <laughs> I thought you were Welsh, no? No. Oh, sorry. 
Uh, are you confused? Well where the f- did I get that from? <laughs> oh no, I'm taking the Howard. I saw these he, pictures. Uh, of sheep sorry, the sorry about film. that, Matt. Sorry, I do apologise. I hope you didn't take any offence <laughs> to that. Um, uh, no, Howard was meant I'll, to. I'll get over it. My tears dry quickly. <laughs> Okay, uh, I'll send you on a, a, a Skylanders figure. Um, so, um, yeah. Yeah, uh, Yeah. You probably have them already, but, you know. There's always room. Uh, <laughs> okay, so, uh, yeah. So, we already know Stuart doesn't give a shit. What, do, what is your thoughts and feelings on the match, lads? And I don't give a shit either, so that's two to go. Two down. I two to go. Personally, I'm not bothered. Um, and, okay. Um, yeah, sitting in a beer garden in March, it's a bit cold. Certainly. It's a bit yeah. dark as well right now. It's really dark. And it's pissing the rain, but that's here because we don't give a fuck about England, so. You know what I mean? I just, I just like saying that over and over again just so I can, you know what I mean? Highlight the, the, the noise. I, I'd just take a beer anywhere. I don't know. It wouldn't have to ah, be. But you're bigger. Irish. You don't need to worry. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? Just, uh, just, 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 just put it into me. So you know what I mean? I don't mind. Just, you know what I mean? It's like, uh, a bit d- like um, you end on. If you don't drink enough, you end up becoming drunk. That's a problem. Yep. <laughs> I don't know how it works with you. You ever have to drink too much? You don't drink enough. I forget. <laughs> Uh, what about Fast and Furious? This I can't bloody wait. It's at eighty-five percent right now. I'm biting at the bit. I'm gonna go with it. There's about two hours worth of gameplay. Easy thousand G. If you like Forza, it's gonna be brilliant. Expect a review next month or on the next episode of the Console Ninjas if I'm on it. Looks great fun. Gonna say if you're on it, team up for a bit of multiplayer. I'll hand you back to the Sony fan, the PC boy, and the Wii guy who don't really know Dick. So back to you guys about it. What do you think? That's a little bit harsh. All right. Um, yeah, was, oh, it's I, 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 I have a dogs. dick, okay? I have a dick. I'll have you know, mate. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I could say to that one, okay? This podcast has taken a rather long turn. <laughs> you, that's he said anatomic, I don't know dick. That, he that said I had an, no dick. That is an anatomically correct answer <laughs> to that question. <laughs> you, don't, you don't mean your son's called Richard, do you? I just want to do clear that... <laughs> Oh, oh brilliant. Jesus Christ! Okay. I said you don't know Dick, so you don't. Know. Yeah, I have no Dick. You said. I never said you don't have one. I said you don't know him. <laughs> okay, is, well. What's the difference uh, between knowing him and this, having Is him? this Fast and Furious a freebie? Yeah. Yes, it's a free download. Okay, great. Uh, promotional okay. download. It's free for the first two weeks, and then it goes up to a twelve pound, I think. All right. So great. if you've already got Forza Horizon Two, it's nothing new. In the slightest, but if you don't have Forza on Horizon 2, it's a nice wee taste at what you've been missing, and you should really be buying. So, yeah, oh, okay, great. Grant. Can't wait. I might download it then. You might, it's free, you will download it. You self commit away it's safe, it's free, you'll download anything. That's why the calls are for the hard drives. <laughs> okay, thank you. Uh, uh, who wants to read the next one? <laughs> I'll, I'll the short it. one. Oh, good. Oh, good. Thank you. Is it just me and you on this call now? <laughs> I'm still here, just waiting, listening to you to squabble. I think the two of them are in shock because you don't, you, you, you admit, you've admitted about Dick, but you don't admit you know him. <laughs> I can't believe you said that. It's so fu- it's a, me- it's like the greatest thing ever. That's a me- you seem to forget who's editing. There's no way that's making it to the final. Oh, call. That, that's that needs to for the comedy. <laughs> Oh dear. Oh, okay. That's amazing. Anyway, <clears throat> so go on then. Should you, you um, get the next mail from Justin Nelson? Yeah, um, another contribution. Uh, Justin asked this month, um, uh, "Is there is there a game that would make you break your year of shame if it was surprisingly released next or announced next month, or in the coming months, i.e., a Fallout Four, which may come, a Half Life Three, which may come, or for Column Right to Hell Two? Is there a game that would make you happy if it was just announced in the next few moments? You would go, oh my god, and shoot your so-called load. Yeah, uh, a new Zelda Wii U game, that would make me do that. <coughs> it's not likely to just suddenly just, be announced and appear though, is it really? Yeah, it's, like it's coming out! Five to six years it'll later. Be, it'll be a remaster of a previous Zelda game that they've remastered previously. It's out! It's coming out! They're making one! They keep telling you that, but I don't think it's true. 
Um, anything to keep you quiet and away from the door. Stay away from that door. Um, Stewie's ready game that you think a girlfriend would buy for you then if it suddenly appeared? <sighs> I don't know actually, you know what I mean? I don't... I don't know. It's up to her. I suppose I could phone her. I'm gonna get her wee phone and ask her. <laughs> I mean, we've got time, you know. Um, personally, personal choice. Um, well, I know the division's coming. I know Halo, Halo Five's coming. Division um, won't be this year. Yeah. You won't get it I've, during this I've, year. A shame. No chance. I've I've seen pre-alpha play it and it's horrific. But that's top secret. I can't tell anybody. You're not meant to know about that. Um, that's not going to be out until February next year yeah trust, uh, trust me trust me from what I've seen you don't want it to come into fucking two years time um, anyway um, new Gears of War um, depending on how it's handled I could get excited about it um, a new Battlefield I suppose new Crisis new Crisis would would tickle my box I like about it Crisis I think you've got very little chance of that with the Crytek Troubles so I don't think you need to worry about that yeah, I know. I, I back the best horses. <laughs> um, yeah, so anything Halo, um, anything Crisis, but as you say that, and pretty much um, anything Gears, I'd say. Um, pretty much. I would have said Forza Horizon, but there's already one that's come out, and we'll no get another one for another four, two year, two to three year now. So, um, yeah, they're just kind of big cornerstones of gaming, I would say, would make me crumble. But as he says, it's more than likely Fallout 4 is going to be announced soon, isn't it? Um, New Wolfenstein is basically it, the rest of my credit for the year on that note, actually, to correct that statement, I apologise, but the new Wolfenstein got announced, I don't know if you saw it, the new standalone yep. uh, Bad Blood, which is like Return to Castle Wolfenstein, yeah, that's going to eat the, the rest of my credit for the year, I think I'm going to have like £4 left, but that's out in May, um, I've decided I'm, that's going to take the lion's share of credit for me, because um, I really loved Wolfenstein, and I want to go back to that world, hence because it contains Nazis and you see a kind of circle appear on here didn't you in my gameplay trades um, he says that any game that involves Nazis that gets announced they'll probably will crack and crumble but um, <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah Wolfenstein's definitely one of them but yeah other than that we'll see what happens Matt anything that would throw you off your year of shame um, if Naughty Dog had an unannounced project that suddenly came out tomorrow um, I've loved everything that studio has done for a long time, so I'd, I'd spend money on that. And do you remember... Oh, may maybe they have. Maybe that's why uh, Uncharted 4 has been delayed until next yeah. year. Maybe they have got something fingers, surprising to reveal. Fingers crossed. And the other thing, do you remember the first Need for Speed Most Wanted, the one with Razor Callahan? A proper a proper sequel to that with all its cheesy cutscenes and everything that would be exceptionally good but uh, the chances of that I think are slim as well well Need for Speed's been put on hold big time the yeah yeah There's I mean they did that Criterion did the, the follow up but it, it wasn't as cheesy it wasn't as wasn't the same so something with Razor Callahan in basically <laughs> anything just anything doesn't matter just the long as you're in it we're happy well I think, I think there's two that, that have already wobbled my or are wobbling my year of shame so Metal Gear Solid 5 Phantom Pain uh, being so close to the end of my year of shame it's like can I just wait a few days and let it go past and and just buy it afterwards I actually heard that's why Kojima left the project because you <laughs> year of shame I actually went look I'm, I'm leaving Connor's co what, what's this Connor's son is thinking of, of, of breaking challenge <laughs> No chance! <laughs> Get my name off the posters. I'm yeah, leaving. The first of Goodbye, Connor. Right uh, Batman as well. There, there two that I know are coming, so they're not sudden, imminent announcements. If they actually did a sequel to Burnout Paradise City, um, that would probably make me me wobble quite severely because um, I really, really liked uh, Paradise City on on the um, PS3. So yeah, that would a prop Burnout game. Uh, would be be one. I know we had Need for Speed Most Wanted on the PS3, which was basically Benner with with EA's licensed car branding. Um, what happened to the thing they showed at E3 last year? Remember, Criterion showed the thing that was a kind of extreme sports kind of kind of. It was like dune buggies and stuff, but also featured like skydiving and stuff. That fell right off the radar. And the fact that nobody's mentioned it for over a year, and this is probably the first mention it since E3 last year, I think, because nobody talks it. it it's because of that um, whole thing, the whole of EA's press conference, was a mess. It was an absolute mess. Yes, we're going to go to all of our studios who are going to show you absolutely nothing but wireframe models and what their studios look like. That's not a reveal. Just you talking there. Just just you talking about E3 at 
EA E3 Battlefront. Yeah, that would that would probably um that would be that would be a bit of a, a wobbler. I think a new Mass Effect game might actually give me give me the uh, edge to to break my ear of shame if they suddenly said Mass Effect Four is coming out next week. I think that would be one I'd be very very tempted to to buy. <laughs> Nobody likes Mass Effect. I don't, Get yeah, out. A good, a good call. I I would buy Mass Effect Four tomorrow if it came out. I think I mean I think that's that's pretty much it. Um, Oh, uh, that's just you. Uh, sorry, Colm, I thought you'd... We've, a- we've asked you. You went, I want to buy Zelda. Zelda. <laughs> sorry, Colm, you tell us. Zelda. Uh, Zelda. <laughs> <laughs> now, you're, you're all going to laugh at me, but you know what? I'm, I'm used to you laughing. I, I would love to have a Mario Galaxy 3. That's a fair comment. That's good. Well, see, I'll, I'll, make, I'll, 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 I'll tell you something. You could go to your, your paper shop, see your paper shop. They sell this product. It's a chocolate product called Galaxy. You could buy a bar. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, no, no. You could buy a bar and you could stick it right up on Amiibo's arse. Mario Galaxy thing. It would have to be a Mario Amiibo for it to work. That's why I said you could stick it up your Mario's. No, you don't have Mario. You? You have Mario you? Okay. I didn't uh, say that, listeners. Just in case anyone was feeling the need to send them anything. Um, I, I don't there. want any more presents, thank you. Just, just, I am just quite nail happy. bombs, nail bombs, and dog poo and envelopes. Just that's all you want. I am happy with my lot at the moment. And, is, is, um, is, a, is a shipment of amiibos turns up at his door. Three pound a month will buy you a lot of amiibos. <laughs> just three pounds, people. Remember, <laughs> it's Speedboat. not much to ask for. <laughs> Speedboat ride. Yeah, um, um, and. Um, Mario Galaxy 3 and possibly a Zelda on the Wii U. Is Majora's Mask on the Wii U or is this a completely new Zelda game? No, there's a new Zelda game coming out. It's been, if you're if you're a Nintendo fan, uh, you will have noticed there's been videos of it posted. It was also shown at E3 last year. And, um, yeah, so that's my two really. Excellent. And, a mer- and Half-Life 3. Portal 3, I think, would probably be one that would make me wobble. I'm not, I'm not amazingly bothered Every by... game ever made, basically. Any game. You know what I mean? The fuck with pitting games. Anything yeah. that comes out will crack. <laughs> We're on a knife edge. Give us a good franchise. <laughs> We're on a knife edge. Can't you... Can't... Just, we can't yeah. handle this pressure. Just anything, you know what I mean? Somebody opening a bag of crisps, I'll fucking... <laughs> We're we're so tense that we've already <laughs> smashed up a lot of things before we started this podcast. There's a chair that's not going to make it home. Chair the Skylander broken. that's gone to the big Dongle's sky. Although, broken. Although the Skylander did lose the worst Indiana Jones movie ever when it got broken. So the Crystal Skull is no more, which is a positive to this effect. She'll be fixed. I'll tell you that now. She'll be fixed. Well, I think we should probably wrap up there. Thanks, everyone, for the, the questions. If you've got any questions for us... Um, Colm, do you want to give the correct email address out? Uh, no, um, can Stuart please, because I'll probably end up making a balls of it as usual. Uh, it's at yoschallenge3 at gmail.com. And has anyone got any final comments before we wrap up and sign off? Final thought for this show. Um, I would say that if you're going to get a loved one, prefer for a girlfriend or a spouse, to buy you a game, don't tell free middle-aged men because they'll basically grudge you it because their spouses are basically been with them for years and they can't be arsed to gain them anything. Um, young young love for the win. Um, if you're going to gay call him anything, make sure it's a slap. Don't give him a meal. <laughs> don't encourage him. It's like, you might think you're his new dealer, but trust me, you'll never walk again. Um, my speedboat in Grimsby, can it be a blue one? I want a blue speedboat. And um, yeah, that's my my final thought for the month. Um, yeah, so good month, guys. I enjoyed it. What about you guys? Uh, my thoughts for the month are: this will be the last sober podcast I'll be doing because next <laughs> month I will be back on the drink. How 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 will we know? Jesus Christ, you've not been drunk this episode. <laughs> will we know? That's the difference. Wow, uh, I have been off the drink for Lent. Yeah, I'm just. Um, yeah, I'm just curious. If this will know any different next month then. 
Uh, <laughs> <laughs> other, other than the sound of the empties, you know what yeah. I mean? Every so often, <laughs> ching of the empties. And um, as usual, lads, it's a pleasure to do business with you. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> good day good day to you sir good day good Matt day. any last Sushi. last thoughts can we wrap this up please my back is killing me <laughs> <laughs> somebody send him a new chair somebody go into DX Racing and get him a, a really nice gaming chair sent to him yes a nice gaming chair that doesn't creak I, I, there's no chance of this making any sound that's just again, that's just his think. joints <laughs> That is just his joints that's creating no the chair. Right. I just want to kind of mention two things. One, I got a lot less grief about my coat than I was expecting, so thanks everyone. I really thought I was going to get a, a fairly rough French, ride, French so, flag, so I'm quite happy with that. Um, and the other thing is, one of my fellow podcasters over at Joypad and me, um, Daft Junk one on Twitter, has broken his year of shame. He started it at the same time as you lot, um, and he's broken it by uh... buying Bloodborne. So... Um, What's his name? Chunk one. What's his name and his address? What's name, address, and postcode? I'll get in and see him. We'll have words. What's his, for, what's his first name? Gareth. He's he's your amoeba who's got quite a bad amoeba addiction, and last month he confessed as to how bad his addiction was. Um, so I'd yeah, commiserations to him. I'm sure he'll he'll pick himself back up off the uh, off the ground. So. Uh, well, he's more than welcome to send an email, Garrett's confessions. I'd, I'd, I'll definitely We'd like to hear just from remember him. you're not getting your deposit back. You're not getting your deposit back for the club. I'm sorry, can't have your deposit back, and I'm sorry you can't come in on club nights because you're out. I'm sorry, you just the the other rules. Just, 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 just the hands in the air. Just sorry, I'm, I'm afraid it has to be that way. Best of luck, Garrett. You, you can pick yourself up, Garrett. I've been there. <laughs> That's all That's I'm saying. That's your shame then. <laughs> call, him, call him and Gareth a tour de force. And, and I think that's it. So I think we should probably sign off. So where can people find everyone? So Stu, do you want to start? Where can we find you? You can find me on the Twitters at FuryAC3 as a standard. You can also find me writing, yes, writing for the Console Ninjas website, which has just gone live in the last couple of weeks. So... It's kind of fred- fledgling. We're just kind of testing the water, getting a few articles up and stuff. Um, it's a companion piece to the podcast. So, yeah, if you are looking to see what we're up to, give us a look out on uh, consoleninjas.com. Uh, it should be fun. And as always, on the podcast. Cool. Colin? Uh, you can find me... In the shakes, under <laughs> the bed. <laughs> At last save loaded. Misspelling emails. <laughs> uh, sort of 67. <laughs> <laughs> or you can find me down to pub come next Friday Ainsley yeah. you can find you and Paul doing a show <laughs> tell me you and Paul have got a cooking podcast coming out some me kind of do a... <laughs> Jamaican jerk bacon or something you know what I mean <laughs> you and Paul all the way well I just want to say I think Paul is a wonderful baker and he is thank, thank you he's for a master. Work. he's a master baker <laughs> anything else thank you for listening to me anyway <laughs> and Matt uh, while I'm not visiting my local osteopath about my back you can find me at, <laughs> at math underscore g on twitter get well soon <laughs> it's all we've been sitting in the chair for an hour and a half which is a piece this, of this, this, this no longer classes as a chair I'll have you it's a, sw- <laughs> a swivel <laughs> toilet have you defecated on your stool it's lost a back I, and you I, now I, sealed I, it <laughs> It, their podcast got very exciting in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> was, this be- was this before or after oh, we knew who Dick was? <laughs> oh, always before. <laughs> <laughs> you got to know who oh, you're well. dealing with beforehand. <laughs> and I can only apologise um, for keeping such little order of this rabble during this podcast. Um, I think it will be Stuart's turn next month to, to take over hosting. But if you want to find me on Twitter, you can find me at VDJOMB. Um, you can also find me on PSN under the same thing. And you can find me podcasting and writing for JoePadandMe.com. So feel free to go and have a listen to that if you fancy. Um and that's it for this month. So thanks everyone for for being on and uh, contributing and playing games and chatting to the listeners. So uh, we'll catch you all next month. Thanks.
Bye. Bye. Cheerio. Got you. Thank you.